Hi, welcome to this tutorial. D5 Render is a real-time rendering engine driven by real-time GI and ray tracing. It allows you to immediately see the final effects of your design, reducing the time spent on repetitive post adjustments. In this video, we'll guide you through the basics of D5 Render with Avila Project. You will learn the fundamental tools and features of D5 Render, how to set the environment, lighting, and effects, how to export rendering images or animations, and what's in D5 Asset Library. You can practice these skills on the empty spaces we prepared in the scene. Okay, let's start the journey. To newcomers, a user-friendly UI is of great importance. The navigation bar is a one-stop shop for all your commonly used features in D5, including the menu, model import, asset library, and rendering output. You'll find the scene list, layers, and resource list on the left side, where you can manage perspectives and resources like models, lights, or particles with ease. In the middle is the real-time viewport. Here you can see everything visualized on the fly when you edit the environment or effects on the right sidebar. Up in the top right corner, you'll find settings related to the camera, display, and navigation modes. On the top left, there are model and material selection tools. After selecting a model or material, you can call up the corresponding editing tool. You'll also find light and model placement tools spread throughout the middle, making it easy to quickly set up lighting and build your scene. Stay tuned for our upcoming tutorials where we'll dive deeper into how to use these tools. D5 can directly read SKP, FBX, 3DM, ABC, D5A models. You can click on the import button and open the needed ones. The imported models will automatically appear in the resource list. D5 also supports syncing models from your modeling software through D5 Sync. You can navigate through the scene in orbit or fly mode. Orbit means the viewport orbits around the central point when pressing the mouse wheel. You can offset the camera with the shift key and the right mouse button. In fly mode, it's easy to control the camera moving direction with the WASD and QE keys. The gizmo tool allows you to move or resize an object. After selecting a model, the move gizmo will appear at the center of its base. You can move the model along a direction by dragging the XYZ axis or rotate it by dragging the curves in the middle. Pressing the shortcut key V, will switch the gizmo from move to scale. When disconnecting the aspect ratio, you can resize the object across a single axis only. You can play around with different perspectives in the scene list. Once you're done setting up, remember to hit the update button and save the changes. Then you can flip between different scenes, each with its own environment and perspective, just with a simple click. Over on the right sidebar is the environment panel, which includes geo and sky and HDRI. This is your control station for the sky and natural lighting. Besides the built-in HDRI, you can import your own and tweak the brightness, angle, and color temperature to your liking. Plus, D5 enables you to customize the sun azimuth, altitude, and brightness, helping achieve perfect natural lighting. You can also input the real world location, date, and time in geo and sky to reproduce sunlight from anywhere in the world. You can even control how soft the shadows are with the sun disk radius. On the weather panel, you can adjust wind, clouds, fog, rain, and snow, and watch the changes in real time in your viewport. To really bring your scene to life, try using fog together with the sun to create a Tyndall effect. Once you've picked a material with the material selection tool, a related editing panel will pop up on the right side. D5 offers 10 widely used material templates, while you can also customize your own. Glass, for example, needs the template transparent. Tweak the texture maps, color, and UV to reproduce the real world effect. You can easily set up a variety of light sources in D5, including point lights, spotlights, strip lights, and rectangular lights with shortcut keys 1, 2, 
three, and four. Intensity controls how bright the light source is with a maximum value of eight million. Attenuation radius controls how far the light source could illuminate. Light source radius can make the shadow edge softer or sharper according to your need. And here's a cool trick. You can link the same type of light sources together by grouping them with the shortcut keys control and G. Select the light group and you can adjust them all in one go. The post-production effect panel on the right sidebar is your magic wand for tweaking color tones or special effects of your visuals. Think of LUT as your quick stylist. It allows you to swiftly switch between different visual styles, just like applying filters. Post-processing parameters control white balance, contrast, and more of your images. Meanwhile, style parameters can help add an artistic touch. Navigate to the top right corner and click on the image button. Here, you can adjust the aspect ratio and resolution as per your requirements and determine whether to generate material ID AO, among other channel maps. You also have the choice to generate a panorama. Once you've made your selections, click on the Render button to start rendering. Besides images, animation can be easily made in D5 well. After creating a video clip, you can add frames to the timeline and set the time interval between frames and the camera easing. That's it. Click Play to check the clip. You can see a smooth transition between frames. Over on the right sidebar, you can define the format, resolution, and frame rate for the output video. When you're all set, just hit render and watch your video clip come to life. D5 also supports batch rendering for both image and animation. Add the needed ones to render queue, then you can render them all together. D5 Render has a built-in asset library, including a broad collection of models, materials, and particles you can open the asset library from the navigation bar or simply press the shortcut key M. There are in total over 10,000 assets in the library, including over 4,000 interior assets suitable for both commercial and residential scene, more than 2,000 out of the box materials for architecture, interiors and landscapes such as concrete, wood, and glass and more than 3,000 plants from around the world that can be used in local projects everywhere. Furthermore, the library consists of about 1,000 character models applicable to a wide range of business and leisure scenarios. This includes many slightly moving characters. In addition, D5 Asset Library offers nearly 100 adjustable particles that can be used to create atmospheric effects, such as fountains, bird flocks, and smoke. You can quickly find any assets you need by searching for their keywords or bookmarking your favorite ones into a collection. Some handy tools in D5 let you arrange assets like a pro in no time. Brush scatter tool for plants. Grab the brush tool from the toolbar, pick your plants from the asset library, and paint them onto your scene, easy as pie. Path tool for plants, vehicles, or characters. After selecting the path tool, choose the plants, characters, or vehicles you need and draw the path right in your scene. Once you're done, you can fine tune the direction, offset, size, and other parameters of the objects on the path. Group tool for all the models. You can bundle any models into groups and save them to the local library, making them easier to grab and use in later projects. We leave some empty space in the demo scene so you can utilize resources from the asset library to further optimize it. Through this process, you'll gradually master the techniques of using D5, experiencing the allure of real-time rendering. We have furnished a complete scene for your reference. Welcome to share with us your creations. You can download the scene and model files in the description. that completes our tutorial. Thanks for watching. If you have any questions, please feel free to comment below.